welcome back to the channel guys so today we have this mark 7 golf gti in for a very popular upgrade is upgrading to the wave track limited slip differential so this particular car isn't a performance pack so it doesn't come with a factory um elsd which is external to the gearbox so it really, really suffers with traction and grip especially because it is also tuned as well so we're going to resolve the traction issues by installing the wave track and we'll talk you through the difference between the standard diff and the wave track diff once you've got it in the workshop and have the parts side by side also at the same time the customer is taking the opportunity to upgrade the clutch whilst we've got the gearbox out to do the wave track limited slip differential upgrade so let's get the car in workshop get the gearbox removed and we'll see you in that So we have all the upgrades that we're going to be fitting to the Mark 7 Golf GTI and we have the gearbox removed from the vehicle. So obviously earlier on we spoke about we're fitting the Wavetrack limited slip differential which I have just here and the reason why I've removed the gearbox is to fit the Wavetrack differential. We obviously have to open up the gearbox to remove the factory open differential which we have here to replace it with the Wavetrack. So a uh, reason why you want to upgrade to the Wavetrack and limited slip differential is because the factory open differential severely limits traction and grip. The reason why it does this, or what you'll feel behind the steering wheel, is that when you press the accelerator, for example, going through the corner, and then you'll see the traction control light come on and the whole car sort of slow down or even understeer. If you turn the traction control off, all that's gonna happen is that the wheel with the least amount of grip is gonna start spinning freely. It's gonna kind of feel like the clutch is slipping, but the clutch isn't actually slipping, it's just all the power is going to that wheel. So the reason why this happens with an open differential is it has what's called a torque bias ratio of one to one. Now what that means is, is the wheel with the most amount of grip could only have the amount of torque sent to it than the wheel with the least least amount of grip has. So this is why when all the power is sent to the wheel with the least amount of grip, you feel a very, very slow amount of acceleration. That's because not a lot of power is going to the other wheel. So with the wave track, it can send power to both of the wheels and it has a much higher torque bias ratio of around 4.5 to one. So it can actually send 4.5 times the amount of torque there is traction at the wheel with the least amount of grip to the other wheel with more grip. All that feels like behind the steering wheel is a much less frustrating feeling behind the wheel. So when you push that accelerator, when you're going around the corner, it's going to pull you through the corner rather than pushing you wide or lighting up that inside wheel. So this is going to improve the driving experience massively. Whilst we've got the access to the gearbox, customers also opted to have a Saks Performance upgraded clutch fitted. So we've got the upgraded center plate here. So this is an organic friction plate. So this has a um, nice um, sort of like stock-like engagement so it's not super grabby like what you'll get with a sintered metal clutch so it's super easy to drive with but has a much higher torque capacity and what that means is is that this customer can run much more torque from the engine and transmit that through the clutch down to the wheels without the clutch slipping it's also going to last a lot longer at that particular use as well as well as that we've got the upgraded pressure plate which has a much higher clamping force to match the upgraded friction from the friction plate. So that increases the torque capacity of the clutch assembly. We've got a load of other small parts here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this all fitted to the car and get it back to the customer.
Okay, so we're all finished off with the Wavetrack LSD and the Sax clutch upgrade of this Mark 7 GTI. Obviously, you can't see any of the upgrades because it's all inside the gearbox. But now the customer is free to enjoy the massively improved traction and grip from the front end of the vehicle, especially under power, and then the bigger torque capacity of the Sax organic clutch. If you're interested in any of these parts, then you can find them on our shop in the description below. But for now, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done already, then give us a thumbs up. If you want to watch some of our other videos that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you want to watch some other videos in the same playlist, then click here. And if you haven't done already, then hit the subscribe button right here.